Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Greece. And as you guys know, I'm hopefully making this the final war. Um, this is the hopes. That's uh, that's all I'm gonna say. It's the hopes that these are the final wars that we don't have to deal with any more wars after this for all land. Because I'm fighting this mainly because I want to gain the main capital of the Ottoman Empire, which, as you guys remember, is is to to conquer it, we're gonna have to own almost all the territory of the Ottomans, to even at the war goal. So it's a little bit of a BS. I, I still think it's very BSC stuff because you should, if you have a, I believe this, you if you have a core on it, or if you have a core on it, you should logically be able to, you know, conquer it. So, anyways, we have to deal with that. But in all honesty, I do believe we have most of what we have underneath our control. There was a British force right here, so I'm gonna go help our help our allies go deal with it um, I'm gonna casually also go stop by here to go make sure that Constantinople does not get taken over by rebels there we go next now let's go down here because we want to make sure that this that these British people do not start to win that's the ultimate goal is if they start to win we're dead okay so we're gonna go help bring some soldiers down here to make sure that we can help whatever soldiers okay there we go Help whatever Russian soldiers need our help. We're gonna bring in as many soldiers as we can. Come bring in some good added benefits. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look how big of a turnout that is. And look at that. The death toll was high. We're gonna bring in everyone. Just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. Break this. Break this army up. There we go. Okay. Uh, welcome back everyone to hopefully the final time before I finally form this stupid empire. So, we're destroying, we're basically pantering around with this little army right here. I'm gonna have this one go right here. Okay. All my troops are going right there. Let's see, is there any other armies? It seems like they're starting to form a little bit of a different fighting style to me. But we're rapidly crushing any armies that come over here. We'll send this army. Let's go crush these guys over here. Still keep a majority of Annex Thrace, so they should not be able to do anything there. Oh, no, 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 no. Engage, 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 engage. Yes, okay, we engaged just in time before they could, like, gain their final little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. Conquer back this little place right here block out all the troops so they can't come into the channel okay yeah because remember you if you control this you basically control the entire channel we just gained like a ton of war score right there uh, they would still not be able to accept this offer but at least I taught them a lesson so now they're not going to okay do anything about it uh, let's go destroy more British armies because that seems much more fun than anything else in this game. Boom! Time for the Redcoats to all die! Even though they're not Redcoats anymore, they're probably much, much less advanced. There we go, trouble is brewing. There we go, another battle won by me. Okay, we got 31 more score, which means we probably need a little bit more. But at least... Okay, I'm going to start spreading out my army a little bit. One right there. One right there. One right there. Well, this one's going to go crush all those little teeny mini armies. Okay. Oh, there's a new 50. There's a new 52, by the way. Once I conquer some of the more lands, I'll go deal with it in a second. Because that should bring the final war score we need to finally end all this. Which is what we kind of need. So yeah, the 40 is going to crush what we need to do. I'm going to reconquer all this land. They're rapidly reconquering all my land. I just saw that. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, once, once that little army right there is done... I'll go have them. Um, yeah, we could we could go destroy these guys. I'm not in too much of a hurry because I can reconquer back all this pretty quickly. Okay, let's go. It's bananas. Okay. Yeah, the British really do think I'm not. I don't have an army. Ah, oh, dang. Okay. So we have tons and tons of rebels. Are we gonna slow down some of my troops? Okay. Yeah. They they're seeing the big gigantic stack. I do have another big gigantic stack. I'm bringing in two big gigantic stacks. Yeah, there we go. Bring in the fools. Yeah, let's keep crushing these guys. Yeah, and then we have this army right here. Okay, 
Okay, just crush all of them. Okay, just crush them all. Just crush them all. And since this is the British Army, this should give it the most, like, impact. Yeah, there we go. We conquer all this land. Get all this. Take all this away. The British. Okay. Let's just start spreading out and reconquering back all this land over here. Yeah, I'm gonna. This is. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. We conquer all this. There we go. Let's see, is there anything over here I have to really be dealing with? Not really, just a lot of little mini rebels. Okay. Britain. Will you guys accept peace? No. They would not accept it yet. But they're losing pretty rapidly, so... They're going to... They're going to eventually accept it, because I'm just going to keep reconquesting all this land and being able to defend this so incumbently makes them think that maybe they should not be conquering this. Okay, there we go. Let's see, you guys ready to admit that you guys are defeated? Yes! 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 Oh my goodness! Finally! Oh! Yes! Oh my goodness, finally. Okay. Seize our production, first of all. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Um, next order of business is to deal with these independent nations. Restore order. Um, yes. Alright. That was it, guys. The final piece of the puzzle. So many years are being denied. So many years, and we finally have it. Alliance with Persia? Sure. You guys can be my friends. Um. Yes. Okay, I'm pretty sure what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna have to reconquer all of these places first, and then I'll be able to, you know, quit. So let's just finish up with all these guys quickly so we can get on to the more important things. Okay, let's get on to here. They actually have a pretty, wow, they actually, Crete by itself is actually pretty well defended. I never thought my, these little guys could actually do anything. So let's quickly gain the rest of this, and go right here, gain this, destroy their army. Okay, there we go. And then you guys over here, we're gonna have you guys go attack the capital. This is as ours. Yeah, don't do that. I still got peace annex Crete. Thank you. Thank you for joining our empire again. You guys go hunt down whatever you can. Make sure that these guys do not. Yeah, now that we have complete control of what we need. <laughs> okay, you guys go over here. We're gonna go finish up the Ionian Islands. Intervene immediately. Okay. Okay, whatever. Your freedom of speech. Go down. And go right here. Destroy this last little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna okay, have to wait. Watch I'm gonna watch as these guys slowly start to die. And as slowly as my people start to die too. Wow. Russia, you want an alliance again? Sure. That's good to know that you guys still wanna be my friends after all this time. And we got most of our land back. Most of our land over here is occupied. I'll go deal with that in a second. Most of their land has been destroyed. And it looks like the uh, Germans have been expanding like crazy. All right. Yeah, come on, destroy them. There we go. And ultra liberals keep keep like gaining power. Gain this, guys. Yeah, I already know. You guys are going to offer me. There we go. Alright. And that is it. The final conquest. The final push. The final thing. The final... Brevery. 
We did it, guys. And we became fascists in the process. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dang it. <laughs> Didn't want that to happen, but we became fascists in the process, so... Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So let's just demobilize. Let's see how many troops we actually have left. Uh, okay, so these are these are actually the only two proper armies I still have in this country. Let me go pick them up. And um, I'm going to come back, guys, when I've discovered what I need to form the empire. Because there's obviously, you know, uh, I know there's obviously something I'm missing that there's a national decision or something or other. So I'll be right back when I come back from the wiki and we'll form the empire together guys so see you guys in one second alright guys I am back from the dead coming well actually not back from the dead I'm back just after a second break where I've discovered what we need to do to finally form the Byzantine Empire and finally be able to get our cores and everything and finally be able to do many more things um but there's a catch-22 or I should say there was a little bit of a snag where I realized that it will not be possible to do it because basically to do it you need to become a great power and sadly due to the fact that I only have 550 points and the nearest uh, great power person is like 1380 points um I've almost concluded that in the next 10 years we will not be able to get that many points Unless I seriously do a lot of warring against, like, China, and completely take China out of the picture for, like, years on years on years on years. Like, we would seriously have to push China to the brink of extinction for us to push up, so. And then, you know, I also have to consider all the other powers that are below China, which, because I'm not, I'm not exactly ninth place. I have to still beat Austria-Hungary, um, Austria... Uh, basically, I'd have to beat these three countries to become a great power. Which would be pretty hard. I'm not even going to deny that would be pretty dang difficult. And if I were to somehow do it, it would probably be at like the very last second of the game. Probably like two seconds before I have to end the game and we wouldn't really get to enjoy it. So, you know, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to have to say for the sake of purposes of practicality, <laughs> ah, there we go. Um, I'm gonna have to end the series now. Okay. Um, you know, it was... I'm just gonna have to end the series now, because it's just become... You know, I tried... Let, let me just put it like this. You know, we started this series about 20 or so episodes ago, maybe... It was 20? Yeah, it's about 20 episodes about right now. We started, this, we started this series 20 episodes ago, and I tried to form the Byzantine Empire. Okay. Um, we went through a lot of hardships where I realized a lot of different things in this game is a little bit BS. Like, like the fact that, that the Ottoman Empire can secure alliance with France like for most of the game, and somehow not be able to be affected by it the entire way through. Or it could get an alliance with England, and like... I don't know. I could I could accept it getting alliance with Netherlands, because that makes sense. But alliance with England and France? Okay, what is the French and the UK's investment in the Ottomans right now? Because I have no idea. No idea. So yeah, that was just kind of that was actually I could say that more unfortunate than anything. It was unfortunate that that they had an alliance mostly in the entire game, which did prevent us from expanding early on and trying to take as much time as we could. So if we had that, we probably would have expanded way, way quicker. Um, but yeah. And then the other the other kind of short sighting on my part was the fact of how to get the capital of the Ottoman Empire, which I'll tell you right now, I did look I did look at it, and this is the new capital right over here. See? See that little capital mark? I know it's being occupied by rebels, but that is Oh, they're about to they're about to become they're about to become fascists like us! Yeah! Oh gosh, I don't know when I became a fascist country, but it's really quite funny to me that I became a fascist country at the very end. It's it's right when I'm about to start expanding into massive other countries, like when Greeks split up for me and when the Ionian Islands, this is just a tangent, when the Greeks and the Ionian Islands split up for me, I was like, nope, you're coming back, do do do, they're back inside my empire. Anyways, um, yeah, it's just basically... That's just basically it, and what I was about to go with this part was, is that 
they moved their capital because of some event. I don't really know what this event is called. And I tried looking it up when I was when I was doing some experiments to uh, try to you know con conquer the capital, try to get that CB so we could conquer the capital. Because I remember, because I did test this out in a in a private game where I was like, I released the um, Bulgarians and I released like a couple nations, or I gave all the nations back over here just to see if I could conquer this part right here. I could still not do it, so. What this ultimately requires is that you're just basically going to have to wait until the Ottomans move their capital, which could be a random event or could be, you know, something else. But anyways, it was a, you know, big, big, big to-do list trying to figure that out. And that was, I think, just a little bit of a cheat. I think, I honestly believe, especially since you're the Greeks, I think you would, should be allowed to conquer the capital, especially when you cut them off from, like, the mainland. Like, I cut them off from their main empire. And, ugh. Many th just many, many things like that just kind of bugged me throughout the game. But, anyways. That was just the technicalities and the unfun parts about this campaign that kind of ended in tragedy and also I couldn't form the empire because of it. The fun parts about this campaign, which is the parts I choose to kind of remember about this, is the fact that we got one of the best, we got a great intro from me from getting the Greece sounding. We got many good troops. We've created a new empire for Greece, honestly. I mean, we expanded basically one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, seven new provinces that Greece, well, six really. Six pro, well, five really, actually, now that I think about it, because they probably did own this part. But five new provinces that Greece never owned in their entire lives. Um, we even have a stake in China right now. <laughs> I mean, Extraterritorial territoriality really does help you out. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. So, you know, just all of this, you know, points to the fact that this was actually a pretty fun campaign. And granted, I did not form one of the, did not form the Byzantine Empire, but come on. This was like one of the hardest campaigns, and very few YouTubers out there, and very few people can actually do it. I mean, I should say this, I have a much bigger respect for the people that could actually form Greece, because this was a pain of a campaign. A pain of a campaign. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to bluntly say it, I'm proud. So those people that have actually formed Greece, I mean, have actually formed Disney Empire, pretend that clap was for you, because it was. You guys are like gods in this game, because that is an insane amount of of grit and hard iron that you have to do to form this empire and I give you credit but I give you credit because I could not in my like in my terms I could just not do it I tried but it just did not manifest itself into anything successful but you know like I said at the very end of the game this was a pretty fun let's play I had fun just watching myself you know stupidly goof off and have just random moments of attacks like, I can't believe the fact that we stood on, I just went and kind of rambled there and was like, okay, I'm gaining my little corn here. And then just declared war and fought off the British Empire all by ourselves. I mean, no one else helped us, may I add. I mean, the Russians did kind of help because they did kind of weaken them a little bit. But the UK was still vastly superior to my empire. And so us taking them on and actually defeating them with full, full Greek and might was a pract was a practical Marvel genius and a moment I'll never forget about this campaign. A little tiny state beat beat the British Empire. Sounds oddly familiar, don't you think? Anyways, anywho, whatever you want to say, just anyways, anywho, any while, any fine, any I don't know, I don't know any other any words, but anyways, we are now going to end this campaign with the thoughts of goodness and delight as we have formed what we need to form but did not have the prestige to form what we need to form so very good very good overall feedback I love this campaign it's always it's gonna be it's gonna be a little special one in my, in my heart F figuring out we went back to the classic Greeks to try to rebuild civilization anew and yeah so with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. It was fun. Let's play. Again, I keep pointing it out. It was fun. Um, don't forget to comment about what you guys want next. Do you want me to go back to another Vicky 2 game? Or do you guys want me to go into EU4? Or do you guys want me to test out some of the new games I bought over the weekend? Like 
um, Prison Architect or The Walking Dead. And I know everyone's seen seen a Let's Play of The Walking Dead from one of the bigger people, but you know I'm kind of one of those people that just kind of would be like, well, anyways, I would I'm not gonna speak of it because I don't think you got because I don't think that that kind of thing is popular on this channel, so. We will just move on, but I may mean, I say, gosh dang, is The Walking Dead a good game? Like, I was playing it yesterday, and gosh dang, does it, like, wing out things you just don't want to see. But anyways, that's it. Good seeing you guys. Good turnout from this Let's Play. I'm really happy of it. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. See you guys. Oh, and if you do want me to continue playing this for the last 10 years, and, you know, finish out with whatever the score is, then, yeah, you can tell me that, but it's, eh, I think it would just be kind of pointless to kind of continue. So here's the ending screen, here's what the world looks like, what our stats look like in the very end. We did, I say, pretty good, considering all things considered. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the official ending, no thing's going to stop me here. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.